Hey y'all, here I am in the heart of Deepest, Texas. It's early. I just got up, made some coffee, and I came down here to, to look around. And I've got a couple little projects today. I'm going to uh, pick, a, pick a bunch of different herbs that I've been growing and give them all a good haircut. And then I'm going to try to dry them. I don't have a dehydrator and I don't want to roast them in the oven. So uh, I'm going to try a method I've seen on a couple different YouTube channels and uh, see if it works for me. They just take little brown paper sandwich sacks. Uh, I, think I, I think it was the New Orleans Gardener, I'm pretty sure it was. She just stuffed a bunch of herbs in a brown paper bag and set it aside for a while. And I guess the, the brown paper, it's not airtight and it also kind of draws the moisture out and uh, dries it up pretty well. <laughs> if I had a pickup truck, I would use the Babette in the Garden method. Uh, she uh, dries her herbs on the dash of her uh, parked pickup truck in the sun. And it certainly would be hot enough here in Texas. Uh, so, but I don't have a pickup truck. So what I'm gonna do is look around the garden, uh, find some of the uh, overgrown herbs, herbs, and do you say herb or herb? Herb. I know a guy named Herb. Herbert. Herb. Anyway, uh, leave down in the comments below if you say herb or herb. If you want to. Alright, so mint, a couple kinds of mint, uh, thyme, um, blah, 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 what else? Oh, I've got some rosemary, and uh, we'll see what else we've got. All right, and I've got some pepper updates and some worms to show you. And uh, I know you want to see some worms. All right, well, let's get to it. Well, okay, check it out. I have little weeds in here, a little bind weed or something, but this is a beautiful rosemary plant had this for two or three years. It's been sitting on the corner of this bed. Now it's really starting to starting to look nice. I had to trim it back. Some of it died back over the winter, but uh, now it's ready for me to harvest some of the new growth and uh, see about uh, drying it off, see what it turns out like. And the good thing is I, I've got this all year long. I mean, if I've got a roast or something I'm gonna do and I want some rosemary, I'll go out there in uh, December or January and get some. It's always there. And uh, I, don't use, I don't use a lot of it. I use some, you know. I mean, I, I do a pot roast where I get a bunch of rosemary and black pepper, corn, you know, crunched up, and uh, kosher salt, and a little bit of flour. And I kind of mix them all together, and then I, I rub it all over a big uh, uh, pot roast and just totally kind of make out like a little crust on it and I stick it in the electric skillet and I let it run and uh, man it's good it's really good stuff do some potatoes and some onions off in there too so that's a good bit of rosemary I think it'll be a bags full <laughs> yeah couple tomatoes gotta pick these they're looking good On the 4th of July, uh, my apartment is the most awesome place to watch fireworks. I, I'm like a, a hundred yards away from where they set them off. They keep people away from down where I live, but I live like right underneath the fireworks. It's really great. That's some lavender, Goodwin lavender. It smells so good. And look at these peppers. They're rocking. I, I did a whole bunch of worm castings up off in there, and uh, you can see there's little baby tomato uh, uh, seeds or plant seedlings in there, and that's just from me uh, tossing stuff into the worm casting or worm bin, and the seeds uh, sprouting finally. Look at these peppers. I think these are the golden gatherers. The Marconis are the bigger and the rounder golden gatherer. I think the Marconis are the bigger, longer, rounder ones like this. They kind of have got a, a nose, and uh, that's a good one too. 
This is that orange mint, really smells good. I'm gonna pinch off some more of that. Try to dry that up. And some purple basil, it's going pretty good. I'm not ready to hack a bunch of it off, try to dry it. I'm just gonna keep on pinching the tips and try to get it to branch out. I really love basil. I gotta get more going, I've gotta plant some tonight. And uh, I, I love my uh, pesto. And oh yeah, I forgot. I had that um, cilantro growing and uh, I picked off all the leaves that was growing up and it just totally went to flower. It was really pretty. And uh, now it's coriander. And I'm just gonna hang this upside down, let those seeds dry out. And they're lemony and nice and very good herb. Hey, here is my uh, cranberry hibiscus. It's looking really pretty. All these little prickly little things, they become like a little pink flower for a day or so. And then they get real thick um, little uh, I don't know, alien looking things. And that's what you eat. Well, you don't eat them. You can boil them down. They make stuff red. They're really tangy. Oh, you can put them in a salad and eat them. There's a seed pod in the middle you want to get out first. Yeah, they're just covered and they'll get all branchy. And every node will have one of them little things. Hi. Uh, my name is Sad Sack. And I'm here to show you how to drive some herbs that you pick from your garden really easily. So, let's get started. I've got some uh, rosemary. Let's do that first. Okay. Okay, so real easy. I got these sandwich bags from the dollar store. I think it was a dollar. And uh, I just... Uh, Wash this uh, rosemary off, shook it off, make sure there's no grass or anything weird off in there. And uh, man, it sure smells good. Hope I get it all in there. And I know it's gonna take a little bit longer than the other stuff to dry, but there you go. And uh, I love rosemary. Uh, like I said, I got it all year round. But see how it dries, we'll see. And here is the um, dill. Uh, move your arm, Tim. It's still, I picked it last night, to be honest. It's had an evening to uh, desiccate or thin out, or a little more in here. This feels really dry. I, I washed it in the, in, in, uh, then I put it in the salad spinner. And, and man, it was really dry when I put it in there. But it feels good, good to move it around. I think I'm gonna move it around a couple times. He, speaking of a couple times, here's some thyme and uh, it's looking good. I know it's all twiggy and stuff, but that's just how it is. I guess when I use it for cooking, I'll pull it off the twigs. And it smells good, very lemony and fresh. And here is some uh, mint that, I, I picked this like three or four days ago when I saw uh, the New Orleans Gardener's video on uh, drying herbs. So I went out and picked some and put it in a bag. Look, it's totally dry. I would like to make some tea with this and some cranberry hibiscus and I don't know, other things. Okay, so that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Give it a try. Bye. next time in the garden.